guys so today i have got the next witch casket box to show you um for anyone that hasn't seen me open this before it's 29 pounds a month and it is a uk box um they do post it worldwide but it's all different prices so i'll put all the information i have down below in the description so this is the june box i know i've literally only just done the may box because i was a little behind on that one um but we are going to open this and see what is in here so Right on the top, like always, you get a little booklet. It says that the theme is Earth Element for this one. And the colour of the booklet usually kind of corresponds to the items in the box. So this one is kind of like a yellowy, greeny, beige kind of theme, I'm going to say. Um, not my favourite colours, honestly, but I kind of expected that for an Earth Element theme, I guess. And when you open this, it's just information about all of the items in there. So I'm not going to read off that. I'm just going to show you them. But if you do need more information, it's in this little booklet. So the first thing we have right on the top is a little art print and this is what it looks like. It's kind of a little forest kind of scene with a witch down here. Very cute. So that's our art print for the month. Then next we have a big bag and this says that it's a gathering bag so it's got some little mushrooms on the front i'll try to hold it up some mushrooms some leaves it says gathering bag it's kind of like a burlap sort of a material it is quite kind of like well it's not really showing up on camera but it's got a bit of um, a meshiness to it and it's got handles like a tote bag so that is our first item. Then next we have our spell kit for the month. So you always get a spell kit with witch casket. And this one is a bury it ritual kit. A magical ritual to help you bury your past and move on. So I will open this and show you what is in here. So we have um, a little instruction card. I'll quickly hold up in case anyone wants to pause and read it. Super tiny. Um, we've got some rosemary, we've got a little piece of paper that says I let go of at the top, we've got a little black spell candle and we have a little mini pencil with this gold design down here. So that is everything in the Bury It Ritual Kit. Oh this looks like a pretty full box actually now that I've kind of seen deeper in here. So next we have our enamel pin for the month. You always get a pin and this is what this one looks like. So I'm assuming that this kind of upside down triangle is the element for earth. It's got little vines around it, just one pin on the back. So there is that. Then next we have this long little pouch and it's got a candle in here. Honestly, I'm not sure this one candle really needed a little organza pouch, but it is cute though. So just a big taper kind of golden candle. Um, let's see if it's anything special. Let's read the little booklet. Okay, so this is a gold coated black candle, apparently. It says black to banish and gold for success. Use this black candle for any spell or ritual for banishing, letting go, hex breaking, etc. This unique black ritual candle is dipped in gold to add extra power and success to your ritual. So that is very cute in its little bag, gold candle. Then next we have our crystal for the month and this month it's a tiger's eye. So it's just a little tumbled stone and it's got the element kind of engraved into there in gold. And the little card says, the ultimate power stone and an amazing stone for success. Tiger's eye is a grounding stone believed to encourage personal empowerment, courage, charisma, willpower and clear thinking. It's also useful in setting boundaries and ensuring your own needs are recognised. So that is our stone. And then it looks like we have three bigger items. So the first one is some little cards. I always love witch casket cards. I think that's the best thing they do personally. 
Um, so these are black cards with gold edges, very thick, good quality. See so which casket on the back of all of them. And these are botanical grimoire cards. So it says, these beautiful botanical cards were designed with love and positive energy and with the modern witch in mind. We hope you enjoy them and find them useful in your practice. Use them to represent their individual qualities on your altar. Incorporate them into spells and rituals. Add them to your book of shadows slash grimoire or a mini divination aid. Pull a card to see what needs your focus right now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, it looks like. Um, they are little. They all have a different um, thing at the top. So this one is pine needles, fern, maple leaf, rose hips, moss, acorns, bark, fawns, succulents, chestnuts, and eucalyptus. Then they have a bit in the middle. So for example, pine needles says, if you need a new beginning and want to let go of the past, pine needles will give you the strength to do so. Pine needles can also be great for cleansing, blessings and repelling negative energy. And then at the bottom, it has a little one for each thing as well. So letting go, clarity, abundance, good fortune, purification, etc, etc. So that is the very pretty uh, botanical grimoire cards. And I will leave the biggest item till last. So next we have a little pestle and mortar. I feel like we got one of these not that long ago. Um, but I guess they're always cute to have. So it's just a little plain wooden, like a dark stain wood pestle and mortar. And it says, place your herbs in the mortar holding the mortar firmly, grind the rounded end of the pestle down onto the herbs and roll it against the mortar whilst applying firm pressure. Grind until you've reached your desired consistency, grind clockwise for attraction spells and counterclockwise for banishing spells. So that is pretty cool. Even if you don't do spells and stuff, you could use this for cooking, honestly. Um, I don't have one of those, so probably gonna use it for that. And then the last item, which I think is probably my favourite and the biggest in the box and something that we've not had before, is a magical flower press. So it says, how to use. Place your chosen flower between the two pieces of whiteboard. You now have one prepared flower set. And place a brown corrugated buffer board either side. If you're pressing more than one flower, place a buffer board between each prepared flower set. Place inside the flower press and tighten the press so that it holds the flower tightly. Allow one to two weeks for the drying process and depending on the flower, maybe even longer until the flower is completely dry. You can now use your dried flowers in your magical workings to decorate your book of shadows, etc. So let's have a look at what this looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's just got the little mushroom flower kind of design on it. And then this is the inside. So these are the corrugated board uh, dividers and stuff. And these screw on and off the top. So you screw them down to squish the flowers in as hard as you can. And then you leave it a few weeks and you get dried flowers out. So that is really, really cute. And then as always, we have our scroll. So I will open this and show you just in case anyone wants to see what it says. Okay, so this is the element of earth in magic. So I will hold this up in case you want to pause and read it. Um, so yeah, that was everything in the June Witch Casket box. So I will quickly grab it and show you all together at once. So we had the little art print the Bury It Ritual Kit, the little gathering bag, tote bag, the enamel pin, the tiger's eye stone, the botanical grimoire cards, love those, the black gold coated candle, the scroll, the magical flower press, and the pestle and mortar. So I will try and hold all of these. So that was everything in the June box. 
Um, I thought this one was pretty good, honestly. Last month's, I didn't love it. There didn't seem to be much in it, but I'm guessing that they kind of held back a little bit of the budget for this one, because this one has a lot of items. But um, the flower press and the cards and stuff, really, really cute. So you'll have to let me know what you thought of this one down below in the comments. Um, I'll put all of the information for them in the description in case you want to go and check them out. And I hope you like this video. If you did, please subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.